Walking slower than my 93-year-old mother, I wonder, will I make it to the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro? At the top, the oxygen level is roughly half that found at sea level. Living in Portland, Oregon, I'm not sure what this will feel like. Soaring into the clouds at 19,340 feet, Kilimanjaro is Africa's highest peak and only freestanding volcano in the world. With 40,000 people a year attempting the climb, the nickname Every Man's Everest is obvious. With Africa and Kilimanjaro on my bucket list since childhood, we opted for the wrong guy route to Uruhu Peak. Over the next six days, our mental strength and attitude for altitude would determine whether we would be among the 60 to 70 percent of people who actually reach the summit. Even with favorable odds, we told ourselves that the view from the top can be overrated. Climbing Kilimanjaro is like walking from the equator to the North Pole in a week. From an ocean of green savanna forest to the melting glaciers, Kili's high altitudes provide habitat for strange and unique life forms found only on a few other peaks on Earth. Scientists consider Kilimanjaro a calling card for studying climate change. It's gonna like that as Scott. Getting us up, Kili, takes nearly a village. Aside from our guides, August and Ignis, we have nine porters, a cook, and a waiter to get our asses up the mountain. All we do is walk poly poly with a small day pack. Each meal is a three course dining experience. Ula pie is cooking a pie, vegetable, beef pie. That's what we call lunch. Ah. What's his favorite thing to cook? When I've been left, we can eat sana sana. Sana sana, chicken and chips. The sorghum porridge, and after this, we'll have Spanish omelette, sausage, and toast. Wow, well, I've been here like 300 times in 13 years. In You're at uh, 15,520 feet. I do feel the breathing the air is coming into my lungs a lot slower. The good thing is we spent a, like, four days to catch here and we were counting in days and now we are counting in hours to get out there. So we are very close and that's why we call it piece of cake. 125 in three, three and a half years. It's very unbelievable. Honey, don't, don't worry, worry. <laughs> <laughs> about a thing. Because <laughs> every little thing is going to be all right. On summer day, we rise under a full moon. From Kibo Huts, 15,000 feet, I see tiny lights twist into constellations up the mountain. These headlamp stars seem as untouchable as the Big Dipper. From our lofty perch, 19,340 feet above Africa, we savor the moment and sip the thin air. Hakuna matata,